It's September 11th, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to GameSpot News. I'm Chris Waters, and today we've got news about spoilers that I will tactfully deliver without actually spoiling anything for you. Because I care. Let's get started. By now, you probably know that GTA 5 is set in a fictionalized version of Los Angeles called Los Santos, but now you can see exactly how fictionalized thanks to an online leak. According to Forbes, the leak came from a prematurely released copy of a Brady Game strategy guide. The game world is reportedly larger than that of Red Dead Redemption, GTA San Andreas, and GTA 4 combined, which sounds totally crazy. Showing a keen grasp of the obvious, Rockstar Games has cautioned fans that with less than a week until launch, leaks from GTA 5 are inevitable. Though we've thoughtfully obscured the map for you here, you can see the full thing in all its cartographical glory on GameSpot.com. Looking ahead to the launch of the PlayStation 4 in about two months, developer Guerrilla Games has stated that there will be no XP progression in Killzone Shadowfall. Such systems have dominated multiplayer shooters since the dawn of modern warfare, but in a blog post, Guerrilla explained that Shadowfall will instead use a system of over 1,500 challenges, each of which will add a point to the player's rank. The two examples given were destroy one turret and kill one enemy with a laser trip mine while they are carrying a beacon. Furthermore, there will be no jetpacks or exoskeletons in the multiplayer component, just a bunch of dudes with red and blue lights on their faces running around blasting each other. All snarkiness aside, I really am looking forward to it as I am a fan of Killzone multiplayer. Anybody else? And finally, for those who prefer melee weapons to firearms, Namco Bandai has announced a new game in the Soul Calibur series. Famitsu confirmed that Soul Calibur Lost Swords is in development for the PlayStation 3 and that it will be free to play. Two other classic Namco franchises, Tekken and Ridge Racer, have also recently gone free-to-play. Which begs the question, have any of you played a free-to-play game on your console yet? Share a positive experience or a depressing anecdote in the comments below, or chime in via Twitter using the hashtag GSNews. Just a short one today for you folks, but we're back tomorrow with more news. See you then.